This morning, family members are grieving the loss of Julie Demperio Hollowalk, the woman killed Monday by a great white shark at this beach in Maine, which remains open. It's the rarity of the event that uh, made us believe that we didn't need to take action such as a closure. The Maine Marine Patrol says the 63-year-old was swimming in a dark wetsuit about 60 feet offshore near Bailey Island, but a great white likely confused her for a seal, the first recorded shark-related death in the state. Two kayakers brought her back to shore. It appears the female may have been attacked by some sort of animal. Her stomach ripped open. Hollowak lived in New York City but spent summers in the small tourist town of Harpswell. She was the former president of Kipling America. The popular designer handbag company says she was an incredible leader who brought out the best in her team and colleagues. Julie and her, her husband uh, are just well-known, very respected individuals, and the community is really at a, just a, a tough juncture. Across parts of the Northeast, beachgoers are on edge. I'd be pretty worried. I, I wouldn't go in the water, not, at least not today. On New York's Long Island, several beaches were temporarily closed after reports of possible shark sightings. The bull shark should not be treated lightly. It is a very aggressive shark uh, that can do some substantial damage. Some scientists say climate change and warmer waters in recent years are attracting more sharks to the Northeast. But Chris Fisher disagrees in this case. He's the founder of OSurge, an organization that tags and tracks sharks. He says researchers have followed them all the way to Canada for years. Is this due to warmer weather? I don't believe it has anything to do with warmer weather. You know, these white sharks handle a broad range of temperatures. A small shift in temperature is not going to move them a lot. It has to do, I think, primarily with the steady recovery of white sharks, which should be celebrated on the East Coast. Meaning a steady increase in the shark and seal populations over the last two decades. And Gabe, you, you mentioned the victim was wearing a wetsuit. So what are experts saying about that? Yeah, Hoda, we always hear those warnings about not wearing shiny jewelry when going in the water. Well, experts like the one you just heard from say that people should not wear dark wetsuits because the sharks could mistake you for a seal. And authorities are also urging beachgoers to stay away from groups of small fish. But to put all of this in perspective, Hoda, the types of shark attacks like the one we saw in Maine are still exceedingly rare, Hoda. Yeah, they sure are. All right, Gabe, thank you. And you think most surfers wear those wetsuits? I, I mean, know. Just part of the protocol, yeah.